Planet Dolan. From stick insects the size of branches to the cutest squirrels your eyes have ever seen, we count 10 amazing animal species that were recently discovered. Hey everyone, my name is Melissa. I'm here to caress your brain cells with weird facts from all over the world. Number 10. Footlong Stick Insect In 2014, two biologists were shocked when they came across a stick insect big enough to look like a tree branch. Dr. Joachim Brasil and Dr. Jerome Constant were working in the jungles of Vietnam when they made the discovery of two new species of Phasmatidea, the order of insects that are called stick insects. The full length of this gangly guy can reach a crazy 32 centimeters long, the second longest species ever discovered. The longest insect currently lives in Borneo in Indonesia and grows up to 36 centimeters. Number 9. Tully Monster In 2016, scientists finally figured out what this bizarre looking creature is. Known locally in Illinois as the Tully Monster, this strange sea dweller has perplexed scientists since the discovery of its fossilized remains in 1958. The mouth of the creature is extended away from the body, with a strange jaw and teeth appearing at the end of its snout. Scientists have decided the 307 million year old Telemostrum gregarium was most likely a vertebrae. I'm not exactly complaining that this fish with its hammerhead eyes and weird claw is no longer in our waterways. Number 8. Ruby Eyed Pit Viper. Just in case there weren't enough snakes in the world already, a new species of viper has recently been discovered. It's pretty succinctly called the Ruby Eyed Pit Viper and it was found just outside Ho Chi Minh City in Vietnam. It prefers to live amongst evergreen forest and has been frequently found loitering around water sources like waterfalls and swimming pools. It's a threatened species due to the rapidly increasing destruction of their habitats and also because some locals like to eat them and make snake wine out of them. Call me old fashioned, but I prefer my wine to be viper free. Number 7. Texan Minnow Due to some sloppy scientific documenting in the 1800s, this little fish has recently been rediscovered in Texas. A scientist called Charles Frederick Gerard once detailed his apparent discovery of a fish called Notropus amabilis in 1956. But it was commonly believed that Gerard was sometimes careless with his details and often described the same fish twice. So it came as a bit of a surprise when 100 years later, Dr. Kevin Conway recently found the West Texas Shiner does in fact exist. It just looks a lot like a regular Texas Shiner. They might look identical, but Conway assures us they are a completely separate species. Number 6. Flapjack Octopus This little guy might have actually been the cutest thing ever discovered in the ocean. Everyone's calling it a Flapjack Octopus, or Octopus Adorabilis on account of its big puppy dog eyes. You can find him scooting about in the deep sea at about 1,500 feet below the surface. Although it looks like he's made of pudding, he actually has about eight legs, which arch out like an umbrella to propel his precious little body over the ocean floor. A specimen at the Monterey Bay Aquarium Research Institute that laid eggs will hopefully hatch some teeny tiny baby octopi in the next few years. Number five, shape-shifting frog. A unique amphibian has been discovered in Ecuador, unlike any other frog known to date. During a visit to Andean Cloud Forest, Catherine Krynak and her husband Tim picked up a frog they described as having spines on its body. They put it in a cup and were surprised to find a very different looking smooth frog in the same cup the next day. It turns out the frog has the ability to shape shift depending on its environment. The discovery is the first to document a frog that can mutate its own structure on demand. Ant-Man, you better look out cause we got a shape shifting frog on our hands. Number four. Francis Woolly Horseshoe Bat Deep in the caves of Borneo, scientists recently came across this curious, funny-looking bat. Its leafy-looking, semicircle nose is the reason it got the name Francis Woolly Horseshoe Bat. It is also a dedication to Dr. Charles M. Francis, who found a similar specimen in 1983. The strange nostrils are apparently used to increase the precision of their echolocation calls when searching for food. There's just something so chill about the expression of this bat's crazy floppy face. Number three, Ninja Lantern Shark. As if sharks needed to be any more terrifying, then comes the discovery of the dark and mysterious Ninja Lantern Shark. It lives around 1,000 feet below the surface of the coast of Central America, and it's so stealthy it can barely be seen before it attacks. 
It has a mostly black body with shimmering internal organs designed to attract mates and confuse overhead predators. The scientific name of the ninja lantern shark is Edmopterus benchliae, named after shark conservation activist and author of the novel Jaws, Peter Benchley. Number 2. Smallest Snail Back to Borneo, where apparently new species are just waiting to be discovered, is the hometown of the smallest snail in the world. Discovered in 2015 by a group of scientists from the Netherlands, this snail is the smallest ever recorded, with a diameter of just 0.7 millimeters wide. The team discovered 47 new species of snails, a handful of which can only be found above an altitude of 13,400 feet. The discovery of this tiny guy beats the previous record for the smallest snail, which was held by a species native to Guangxi in China. Number 1. Japanese Flying Squirrel Okay, so this insanely adorable squirrel might have been around for a long while, but the internet has just only discovered it. They can only be found in Hokkaido, Japan, making the adorable Twee Dwellers a common mascot for retail outlets in the area. If you look for them, you can find them flying from tree to tree in Japan, gnawing on little leaves and just generally being the most adorable little guys ever. That's all for now guys, I'll catch you next week. Would it be weird if I adopted a pet squirrel? Like, seriously though? I mean, we both live in forests, we both hunt for worms and nuts. <laughs>